Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're going to be talking about Counter Logic Gaming because they have some absolutely massive news surrounding their roster headed into the lock in tournament. And this is going to be just really, really great news for CLG fans, but just fans of the LCS overall who want to see a good competitive tournament um, with some quality rosters. Because um, I know, you know, a ton of teams, players, organizations have been having a ton of uh, roster issues, visa issues, and everything headed into the lock in tournament. Um, but honestly, CLG has found uh, a pretty good solution. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video today this actually comes um from a viewer uh kind of tipping me off to this so thank you thank you so much i'm not sure exactly how to pronounce your name i believe wolski um is the last name but dude thank you so much i do appreciate it uh you know you guys helped me out with all the coverage and the stories and everything is really really awesome because i try to stay up to date with as much stuff as i can but i can't see everything also I, as you can see i'm not even subscribed to the clg subreddit but this story does come from the subreddit um but before we get into that i just want to mention real quick a word from today's sponsor which is draft buff this is a fantasy esports website and app you can play now in the browser you can download on the app store you can get it on google play and we're happy to now uh, we're happy to announce that draft royales is now live this is an awesome awesome game mode where you have a set amount of money uh and you have to mix and match different players uh, of different positions to stay under the salary cap and form the best team possible i have a battle royale league going on that i want to play with you guys so definitely check out the link in the description below there's going to be a link to my draft royale league that you can join and play against me in and i would appreciate it a ton and so would draft up so thank you guys so much with that being said here we go getting right into this so uh, again we go to the clg subreddit they got some interesting stories we're going to talk about this in a video uh soon um but the big thing here is that solo and keel aka frosty nomad as his former name have been added to the clg roster because as he says here um this this reddit post says most likely they're temporary subs while brox and finn and our two oath players remain in visa limbo so uh, you know, we click on the link, we go over to the lolesports.com website, we can see, um, apparently Wiggly has, a uh, name changed to Griffin, um, we see some of their other players, we see some of their roster, and then here he is, I don't know if my face is covering up, you see on the right side here, uh, we have Solo, he is on the CLG roster on the website now, and this is absolutely massive news, they have Keel as well, um, Frosty Nomad, but they don't have a picture for him, but obviously that'll be nice, um, because I know I got some comments that people were like, oh, no, great, we get Wiggly again. But it sounds like, no, um, you're most likely going to be getting Keel. And I think that does make sense because a lot of people um, are talking about wanting their academy team to be practicing together and scrimming together and kind of gaining those synergies and starting to get to work with their coaching staff and stuff. Not having to uh, mesh with a totally new roster in the LCS and then bounce back and forth and back and forth. But uh, I'm not as excited about Keel. You know, it's whatever. He'll, he'll probably do a decent job, hopefully. Um, maybe not. I don't know. But the big news here is that Solo uh, is back the LCS. I know there were a lot of people that were surprised he didn't get signed to a team. I know he had kind of tweeted that maybe he was going to consider starting to like coach or something like that. Um, but this is a cool opportunity for him. Um, I don't think it means anything long term, but again, visa issues can be really, really weird. We just saw Broxa go through this last year where um, we thought he'd be ready for, we thought he'd be ready before the season. Then we thought he'd be ready uh, at the beginning of the season. And it took a couple of weeks. I don't even know, was it up to like a month before Broxa even got to play with Team Liquid? So these things can be just really, really tough. They can be really annoying. Um, so we don't know when Finn and Brox are going to be available for CLG. We know most likely they're not going to be available um, for the lock-in tournament because that starts in like, what, two days now? Um, and if they're still not here, then things aren't looking good. Uh, and obviously you want them to have time to get used to being in the United States once again, shake off the jet lag, uh, get situated with like their living situation or whatever, but also start practicing a little bit before you just throw them out to the wolves because yes, the lock-in tournament doesn't mean much, but if you go out there and play terrible you're gonna get flamed by reddit by twitter by just the overall community and it's just gonna be a bad look for your team for your play and, and it could be bad on you mentally uh people don't like just going out and losing and getting shit on and stuff uh, but for solo i mean it's a no-lose situation you know he's probably making a little bit of money also getting his name out there some more also getting to showcase himself again if he does want to be a pro player then hey, uh, I mean, he can prove that, you know, he's still got it and he can be really, really good if he wants to. If he has a bad showing, you know, maybe he's just done for good as well. It could work both ways. Um, but if he is done for good, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if we ever got an official retirement announcement or anything from him. Um, but if he is done for good, then hey, this is a, a way to just come play a couple games, help out CLG, maybe get, in, maybe get in good standings with that organization where, you know, maybe they he's doing them a favor right now, giving them a top laner for this tournament. And maybe they do him a favor eventually, giving him a coaching spot, giving him an analyst position something like that um that could be awesome or you know if he does want to play again this would be a good opportunity to to show what he's got because uh again he was a, a very solid top laner last year it's not like um he doesn't have a, a he just like he's not coming off a good performance last year yes 
he was maybe the weak point of FlyQuest, but FlyQuest was a team that made it to um, back-to-back uh, finals, like back-to-back -back championship appearances in the LCS, uh, and then made it to World. So they were still very, very good. Solo was obviously not uh, the worst top laner in the LCS or really anywhere near it. He's just very, very middle of the pack. Um, he's probably not improving much year over year. Uh, he's kind of one of the older um, players in the LCS, I, I do believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so, again... I don't think this means a ton. I'm sure once Finn is ready to go, he's going to pop back in and Solo's probably just done off the roster um, going on to do whatever he's doing. I honestly, I, I'm not even sure what uh, kind of his future plans were for the season. If he did get a coaching position or if he was going to like be a content creator or, or what exactly was going on. I, I, I had not heard. Um, I haven't been following with Solo super closely, but I think this is pretty cool. I think CLG fans should be excited because um, now rather than running out their academy top laner or um, running out just some random sub top laner, they can actually get um, a decent piece and it, it gives their, their team an opportunity to maybe do a little bit better in this tournament to hopefully make the games a little more competitive um and again also i do think it is better for the lcs as a whole um we want uh, we want the locking tournament to do well in terms of viewership and everything it helps out advertisers it helps out orgs um getting more uh, just viewership and stuff out there you want it to be an exciting tournament so people get hyped up um you don't want this tournament to just absolutely flop and just kind of be a joke in the community because sometimes uh that stuff happens in uh, league of legends esports um, but also you want the teams to have good practice you know we have a lot of teams that spend a ton of money on players and rosters and stuff this year and we want to do well. We want to do well at MSI. We want to do well at Worlds. We want the LCS to be well respected, um, and it's going to take a year of just good games, uh, good scrims, good practices, good stage performances, and kind of ramping up to uh, finally being able to actually do something like internationally. So I think this is good. Um, again, getting another just solid LCS body out there for the teams to practice against, for the teams to play against, for the teams to scrim against. I think it's really cool that Solo uh, and Keel are doing this because obviously uh, they're being put in a tough position where they're most likely not going to be able to succeed they're being thrown in uh, teams that they don't have much synergy with who knows how much they've even been playing or practicing or anything recently um, I'm sure solo hasn't been in like uh, you know preparing for LCS mode these last couple of weeks or anything like that um, so this is a tough position for them but again making a little bit of money, getting a little bit of exposure. Maybe they pop off. Maybe they don't. They're going to come in with very low expectations. They really can't lose. I mean, if anyone flames them, they're just idiots because, again, they are in a very, very tough position right here. But CLG was in a tough position as well. Um, and all these teams having visa issues are. So um, I think it's cool that they're doing this. I think it's cool that Solo's doing this. I think it's cool that CLG is allowing them to do this. Um, and I think in the end, it'll make for a better lock-in tournament. But again, we don't know when these visa issues will be settled this could potentially be CLG's starting team by the time the spring split comes around. I hope not. I hope the visa issues can get settled by then. But, I mean, there is a world where Solo could be the starting top laner for CLG in week one, it seems like. I, I mean, I haven't heard official word on um, expected dates of when Finn will be ready to go or when Brox will be able to get over to the United States or anything like that or when the visas are going to be approved. I mean, to my knowledge, it's just uh, kind of you just find out when it happens or you just kind of or maybe you get like a little bit of a heads up or a, a general idea but uh, I don't know. It's weird because, again, we've seen some other guys get visas. Sword Art's obviously been able to come over just fine. Alfari had a little bit of a scare, but he was able to come over. Perks came over just fine. Um, so it, it is weird how these things are kind of just really, really different on a case-by-case -case basis where some people got approved weeks ago and some people might not get approved for weeks into the future. Um, but yeah, Solo seems like he gained a lot of fans last year um, from his performances with FlyQuest. I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed not be seeing him in the LCS this year. So this is maybe an opportunity uh, to see him. And uh, I, you know, is he an upgrade over Finn? I don't know exactly. Finn seems to be the better guy, you know, going forward into the future. But maybe right now it's possible that Solo is better than Finn. I think uh, they both are not really coming off too amazing of splits. Um, I would probably go with Finn in the end. But, um, you know, Solo is, is a solid option. He's proved um, he can be a solid player on a really good team. Um, I don't know if this changes much of my expectations um, for the overall standings um, because I had CLG projected as like the seventh best team um, with Finn and Broxa and now with Solo and Keel, I don't think it really changes anything. I don't think it bumps them down to, you know, below Immortals, um, who's also having these issues. They're going to have a sub team. I don't think it puts them below Dignitas or Golden Guardians, but I also don't think it makes them pass Evil Geniuses or anything like that. So at the end of the day, it shouldn't really mean too much as far as the outcomes of the games or anything, um, but it should just make it, uh, it should make CLG a little bit more of a quality opponent, a tough opponent, um, and that should be good for everybody. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. I just want to get this news out to you because really, I, I checked Twitter. I hadn't really seen anybody tweeting about this, nobody talking about it, none of the rumor accounts tweeted it out. Um, so I was super, super thankful that somebody uh, let me know about this um, in my YouTube comments. And if you guys ever have any stories, any scoops, anything you want me to talk about, definitely leave a comment down below. And as you can see, 
I'll, I'll probably get to it. I'll probably do it. I'm always looking for ideas. So thank you. Thank you so, so much. Again, drop a like if you did enjoy this video. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm, and I would appreciate it. Um, leave a comment down below. What do you think about this? What do you think about Solo going to CLG? Do you think he's going to do good in the lock-in tournament? Do you think he's going to do bad? Do you think it's a good move by CLG, bad move? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on anything I talked about in today's video. Subscribe to stay up to date on my latest content. We're trying to hit 6K as soon as we can. Remember to check out Draft Buff in the description down below. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.